guys, this is Claire from the Doherty Arts Center and today we're going to do a printmaking project where we learn about collagraphs. So collagraphs are kind of like making a stamp, but you take a hard piece of cardboard and you collage elements, um, flat elements on top. And that's why it's called a collagraph. So our project today is going to be making this really cool fish print. And we'll be making two different types of collagraphs, one with uh, using foam and one using cardboard, and then we're going to layer them together. All right, so let's gather our materials and let's get going. Things you will need. A pencil. Drawing paper. A sheet of foam. Two 9x7 pieces of cardboard. Scissors. Glue a brayer, block printing ink, a baron, cardboard scraps. Grab your items and let's begin. We'll start out with a 9x7 piece of drawing paper where we'll be making an illustration of a fish. For this part of the process, it could be helpful to find a photo of a fish to use as a reference for your drawing. This drawing will be used to make your first collagraph plate out of your foam sheet and 9 by 7 piece of cardboard. When drawing your fish, keep in mind that we will be collaging the fish in pieces. What part of the fish will you be covering in ink, and what kind of information do you want the negative space to communicate? This is why when drawing my fish, I tend to make the basic outline and then add a few minimal details to the inside portion. Once we have completed our drawing, we will tape the drawing onto our foam and transfer the drawing by tracing it with our pencil. Now that our drawing has been transferred over to our foam, we can use some scissors to cut it out. Once the basic shape of the fish has been cut out, you can now choose to cut your fish into smaller pieces and with more details. Remember to keep in mind the relationship the negative space will have with the overall shape of the fish. When you have your fish cut out to your liking, it is time to glue it down to the 9x7 piece of cardboard. While our foam plate is drying, let's work on our cardboard plate. To make my cardboard collagraph, I'm choosing to use both plain cardboard and cardboard I've stripped to see the corrugated insides. I'm going to create curved shapes for my cardboard to form an abstract seascape. To make your shapes, simply draw them out on cardboard scraps and then cut them out with scissors. Cutting through cardboard can be tough, so please take your time while cutting out these shapes.
Once you've cut out your cardboard shapes, spend some time experimenting with how you like them laid out before choosing your final design. Once you've picked out your design, it's time to glue your shapes down. When you've finished gluing down your cardboard shapes, I recommend finding a heavy book to lay on top of it while it dries so that it will dry more evenly. Now that our Colograph plates are dry, we can move on to the printing. I will be making a gradient of color on my seascape by blending three colors together. When rolling out your ink, just lightly kiss the edge of the paint with your brayer instead of diving right into the middle of it. Repeat this process over until you have the gradient of color you desire on your brayer. As you're rolling out your paint, make sure to evenly coat the plate and place a piece of paper behind it to protect your work surface. You can get a nice transition of color on your plate by rolling out the ink on one side and then flipping it over to get the other. Once you have inked your plate, carefully place your paper on top. You can use your hands to gently press your ink into your paper, or you can also use a baron. Carefully lift your piece of paper off of your plate, and there you have your first beautiful collagraph print. We'll now repeat the steps we did with our cardboard plate with our foam plate. Once you've inked your fish plate, you're going to carefully line it up with your first print and lay it down directly on top. We'll now flip our paper over for the moment of truth. Yay! It's a beautiful fish print! Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how, how to make a collagraph print. Um, if you'd like to see more videos from the Doherty, check out our website, our Facebook, our Instagram, or our YouTube channel.